Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Kriatsoulis. I am the founder of Yoga for Eating Disorders. I'm a certified yoga therapist and I specialize in eating disorders and body image. And I've been on my own recovery journey for over 20 years. I was so happy when Nedic invited me to share a short practice with you, a practice that can help you bring a little calm and ease into the moment, especially those anxious moments. Let's face it, we are all feeling a sense of anxiety these days as we navigate this COVID-19 pandemic where our lives are not as we've known them. And there's a lot of fear and unknown. And that fear and unknown can create overwhelm. And it can also cause an increase in our symptoms, right? Our urges to use symptoms. You know, we, we start grasping for ways to cope with, with these really hard and heavy feelings. But the truth is that we don't need to cope through the eating disorder. There are tools and practices and different things that we can do to help ourselves. The one I'm gonna teach you today is really simple. You can do it anywhere. You don't even need to be on a yoga mat. You can do it anywhere. And this tool is inspired by my daughter and by what I've learned in yoga therapy. So this tool is going to target the nervous system. As you probably know, when you're trapped in spinning thinking, when you're in that place of high anxiety, right, our nervous system is jacked up and we can't think clearly. We feel a lot of tension in our bodies. And that's when we end up making choices that probably aren't in alignment with recovery. So we want to, in those moments, find ways to help ourselves. So this tool is simply tapping into our nervous system through our fingertips. That's it. Right? We have a lot of nerve endings in our fingertips. And when we can activate those nerve endings and send messages that are soothing and calming, our nervous systems will respond. So the idea is that you take your thumb and just tap from finger to finger to finger, tap from finger to finger to finger. Right? A lot of times we'll see babies or children kind of rub their, their blanket or their pillowcase, right? And that's what they're doing. They're tapping into the power of their nervous system to self-soothe. I often tell clients this is something they can do while they're eating, right? One hand one one hand has the utensil, the other hand maybe is under the table or resting on the table and just kind of tapping through. And as we tap through, you might notice our arms relax, shoulders begin to relax, muscles in our face relax, our brains and our heads relax. We start to breathe a little more calmly find a little space between our thoughts. Now, the part of this was that that's inspired by my daughter is that one day I was driving her to school and she was sharing with me about the yoga class that she did with her first grade teacher. And she says, mommy, look at this. And she says, peace begins with me. And I thought, oh my gosh, I love this. This is exactly the perfect tool to add to the finger tapping tool because once we layer in some language, Right now we get our brain on board in a new way and we start telling ourselves some positive uplifting language. It makes such a difference in our nervous systems. So the practice goes like this. What is the thing that you need right now? Is it calm? Is it courage? Is it patience? Is it faith? Is it hope? Is it um, bravery, resilience? What is it that you need right now? And then I invite you to kind of tap that out and just say that word begins with me. So I'm going to say patience because I need a lot of patience right now. Right? Patience begins with me. Patience begins with me. And you can tap this out anywhere, anywhere you are and anything that you're doing. It's layering that, that element of language, doing something kind for your nervous system, you're turning toward your body to help yourself in a challenging moment rather than turning away from it, which is exactly what the eating disorder is. It's turning away from our bodies. Right? This little tool helps you turn toward your body to use the resources of your body and to help bring a little calm into your entire being. I wish you health and wellness, and I hope that you find this tool helpful. Feel free to Find me on Instagram at yoga for eating disorders and let me know how you like it and how it works for you.